So I think about 1964 when this car was introduced, and the idea of you know what people thought the future was going to be like, yeah. and uh, in 2010, and they probably didn't imagine that we would still be able to have the 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 strong emotional connection to this muscle car. Probably thought we were going to be driving it's around. It's really pretty muscly, isn't it? It, it is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, I, it's, I assume you spent a lot of time. Turning those muscles. It, yes, in fact, really that, that, that was our goal for this for the for the 2010 chapter of this car, and we really call it a chapter because we feel like it's a story that's going to keep going and going and going. I consider myself not just a designer on the car, but entrusted with being the curator of the legacy of the car. Yeah. yeah. In other words, you know, this this is something you have to be very careful with, be with what you're must doing. Must have been when you when you became the curator. Must have been quite. <laughs> was it intimidating? Well, or was it just really exciting? No, it actually it, it was exciting and it was comfortable. I worked I worked on the 2005 car, and um, so it was it was for me you know coming back home, um, for me to. Is that um, one we driven? Jack? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We we um we rented one of these zip as uh, with zip car actually in San Francisco. Okay. Drove over the Golden Gate Bridge on this gorgeous sunny with day. With the roof down. First it was time amazing. ever been over the Golden Gate Bridge oh, with a roof wonderful. down. I went up to Bellinas and had lunch, hung out, and oh, sat by the beach and then yes. drove back. Absolutely. That, that is that is a that cool. is a perfect perfect <laughs> time to experience what this car is all about. Yeah. No, I mean you know for me. Um, and it's kind of fitting. It only cost about 120 dollars as well for the whole. Oh, no, it, was, it was about. Was yeah, it about 80 dollars? No, less than 120. Yeah, it was 80. Well, it was great. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, <laughs> this. You know, as far as the form language is concerned, especially with a car that has heritage like this, um, you know, we we have to make sure that that. Um, you know that we continued. I keep calling it like a family tree. Like if you look at this car, it's kind of like you know when you have when you have a kid and you go, oh, the eyes look kind of like you know grandpa's, and the nose kind of looks like mom's, and the, you know. So it's 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 yeah. a modern evolution of, yeah. of of what you had before. Um, so that's kind of how you know I would say we approach getting getting a modern a modern take on on all the form language. For for us, what we have to do is, and, and that's where you were saying you know projecting you know you know years out. We have to understand. How we can, how we can revolutionize, and how we can evolutionize, so that we make sure that the people who have the connection to it are are still feel like they've been they're being served, and that we bring in a whole new you know collection of of, um, of enthusiasts as well. So it, it is um, it, you know it's 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 a very um, it's a very careful line you know that you have to walk, and you know you don't want to be too far on one side and too far on the other. But um, you know, there's always going to be, you know, um, uh, especially with a design that is as powerful and as polarizing as this, there's going to be um, some people that, that, you know, love it and some people that, you know, it doesn't speak to. And that's why we have a variety of, you know, products, you know, um, for you. But, you know, our goal is to make sure that, that the people who do like it absolutely just fall, you know, you know head over heels for the car. And uh, they re it's, it's really something that is not... You know, uh, just a transport, a way for them to, to move. To get from A to B. It's yeah. something. It's it's an object that they covet. It's one that they want to you know show off. You know, it's something that they want to put on their Facebook page. It's something that you know, especially in this age where people are communicating, um, you know, so much. Unlike we're doing right now, talking face to face. Everyone's you know communicating. You know, this this is what I did today, and it, it just you know sends out to everybody yeah. on Twitter or Facebook. You know, having something that is an actual a physical object like this that can, you know, ex which where you can express yourself, you know, uh, by owning it, I think is just, you know, that that that's I think that's where something like this can really work for the new generation. Yeah, uh, for me, um, you know, my my primary focus on on this car uh, was the interior. I did work on some exterior bits as well, and uh, you know, what I'm what I'm really proud of, you know, is just the the overall. The overall, you know, uh, presence that the car has, all the little care that was done to incorporate things like this, you know, this rear punch, um, which is a signature Mustang Q. These, uh, you know, these these fins here, which are um, which are something that's part of our Mustang DNA, the power bulge. And you can see if you if you come this way and kind of you know step back from it and just just take a shot, you know, right here. Yeah. Uh, of the front. And you see how the light just beautifully plays over all these surfaces. Joe, because Joe's a, you're a real surface snob, are you? He's always going on that. <laughs> surfacing on that place. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's, there's a huge, it's a huge well, art, isn't it? And the, yes, it, it really is, yeah. It is, and we spend a, we spend a lot of time making sure that um, 
when, when the sunlight does hit it, especially in a metallic color like this, that you're going to get all of these, you know, beautiful flops and transitions in color. I mean, if you just, you know, look along this, this fin and see how the highlight, you know, comes down. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 you know, it's brilliant. It's just, you know, and, and we worked a lot on, you know, making sure that when it was manufactured, that things like, you know, these, you know, these gaps and everything, you know, lined up and, and were as small as possible. So for us, it's about the surfacing. It's about the, um, it's about the execution. It's getting, getting the design, as I call, off the wall and on the road. The, the instrument panel, or the dash, as some people like to call it, is a one-piece uh, soft-touch material. So you can see, you can do the yeah, Charmin test on this. Squidget, this. This yeah. is not this is not hard plastic, and it's one piece with no seams all the way down around the center stack. And that does a couple of things. First of all, it cleans it up, yeah. you know, beautifully in terms of appearance. You don't have a lot of parts, you know, moving against each other. You're not going to hear squeaks and rattles. Um, and, it, and it's just, it's a much nicer material to, to live with, you know. I and mean, this is a car, again, that you want to covet. So it's a much nicer material to live with. The um, uh, the other thing that it does too, functionally, is when you're resting your uh, leg, you know, against this and in, in hard cornering, it's a lot softer than the previous generation. It's not a hard 90 degree corner and hard plastic. So we considered all of this as as we were developing it, and we really, really pushed hard for this one piece I was gonna uh, say, soft touch. Was it, was it a challenge to get that through? Because it's more expensive. Well, it's it's it? definitely yeah. a more expensive piece, yeah. and it's it's you know it's standard on you know the. The cheapest, you know, uh, V6 you can buy all the way up through the Shelby GT500. It's something that's in every car. And, yeah, it, it, it was more expensive. But gaps, you know, th these are these are real metal pieces. There's no silver-painted plastic. Really? This is, it's real metal? This is real metal. Oh, yeah, it's real metal well. here, yeah. real metal on the steering wheel. Um, and uh, it is, you know, th these, we, we were adamant. There's, I mean, Mustang is about honesty. And, you know, it had to be real metal. And it's actually brushed, you can see it. Yeah. But we had to work diligently to make sure all these different pieces that we were going to use, you know, this obviously yeah. is your airbag. So you've got, you've got to have the two pieces. Yeah, we have to have the yeah, two pieces for the airbag, airbag to open. But, you know, we worked diligently to make sure that everything would line up because especially since you have the, the two shapes coming together. So, you know, and again, this, this is an early production model, and I think it's, you know, done very, very well. Um, yeah. All of the little, uh, you know, this is real. This is real aluminum as well, and this is one stamped piece of aluminum with a new 2010 pony that has both the polish and the brush finish in one piece. And you know, we went around and around about the, uh, you know, making sure the mane was sharp enough, making sure that the feet were, you know, <laughs> correct. Making so was sure someone that... in charge of the actual design of like of the pony? Was it was it one person who was, who was working uh, on we, that? Well, we work together with thing. our. We we have a studio that does all of our exterior nomenclature. Yeah. And uh, we worked uh, together really closely with them. Our chief designer Doug Gafka and yeah. our design manager George Saradakis uh, worked together uh, uh, with our um, uh, with our graphic studio to to really hone that. And then we also then had to work with the with the supplier who was going to be developing this to make sure that we could achieve that look in one stamped piece. Yeah. I mean all these all these little details. Uh, you know the the conical rings or the conical um, sorry the conical gauges which will remind you of a 67 68. Um, you know, Mustang. Um, that was something that we did for two reasons. Number one, um, all of these registers in here are, are designed to... The, my inspiration was exhaust outlets, so they're designed to look like they're drilled into the aluminum and exhaust is coming out. Yeah. Home ring, you know, uh, air exhaust. And we wanted to replicate that on the... Uh, on the gauges. Well, in doing that, we shortened the the tunnel that we had, so we didn't have enough room for the for the previous lens. So we went, okay, well, let's figure out what we can do. And we looking in our family tree, we went, oh, well, if we use a cone, yeah, that'll fit. And it's like a, it's like you know our Mustang DNA. And guess what? It reduces the glare. Yeah. So it was a win-win-win.